Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a regular CRT TV into one that displays waveforms. The first thing we're going to do is turn around and unplug it and then take it apart. Now that all the screws are taken out, we can take off the cover. Now before we get to working on this TV, we have to discharge it because obviously there's high voltage, especially in this area. And so there's two ways you could do uh, go about doing this. You can um, take a metal piece, in this case a regular screwdriver, stick it in the earth or neutral port of your um, of your wall socket, and then connect somehow with an alligator clip or any other wire um, to a, another screwdriver, a flathead in this case, that is isolated, that's very important, and then you have a path for the electricity to discharge. And you can, what I like to do is just put it under here and, dis and discharge all the high voltage that's under there before I work on anything here. Alternatively, what you can do is keep this end the same and just take this end and connect it over to a metal piece that's preferably uh, connected to ground. It has to be connected to ground. So uh, this is all just to provide um, a route for the high voltage to discharge to. That's, that's why we're doing this. So once you have that hooked up, you discharge this piece and then just lightly tap every uh, piece here. Make sure everything is discharged up here because this is what you'll be working on. And that's basically it. Now that I have a discharge, I can safely touch these points without the fear of getting shocked. Um, and the important thing here is to figure out where these four wires go. Uh, these four wires in this case are the blue, yellow, uh, brown, and red wires and two of them, two pairs of them should be horizontal and two pairs of them should be vertical. Now the way this TV operates is that it has a point on the screen that moves both in the horizontal and in the vertical direction. And those directions combine to um, make a picture on the screen that refreshes about 50 or 60 times a second. And it does that by moving the point across, the uh, across this screen um, in this fashion. It goes back and then swipes, and then back, and then swipes, and it refreshes the entire image really quickly like that. Um, now, we're going to be messing with the horizontal and, and the vertical um, uh, pieces which make up that movement. And so, uh, that's why we're messing with uh, these points here, because these are the wires that uh, control uh, basically that movement. Now, we want to check which of these wires is horizontal and which of these wires is vertical. And to, the best way to check this is to simply uh, desolder one of the wires. Now, sometimes what may happen is when you disconnect these wires, the TV may not allow you to turn it on. In that case, you would have to make the TV think that you connected these wires back to the original coil. But instead, you can put a resistor across the corresponding horizontal or vertical um, pairs of wires, and um, it should be fine then. Now I connected the TV back to the wall socket and just so you know if we get a vertical line that means we disconnected the horizontal and if we get a horizontal line that means we disconnected the vertical. So let's see what we get. We get a vertical line. That means we disconnected the horizontal, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We want to get the vertical line because we're going to use that um, instead of the horizontal. Um, the reason 
The reason we want the vertical instead of the horizontal line is because the vertical line um, goes back and forth across the screen much more slowly than the horizontal line. The horizontal line mo moves much more faster um, and if we use the horizontal line when we uh, put music in or signals in then the waveforms would not be sinusoidal um, I butchered that word but they would be um, a rectangle like the the line would get fatter and thinner and it would not be pleasant to look at I'll actually demonstrate this um, so you guys could see so now that we turned it off and we know we disconnected one of the horizontal wires uh, before we do anything uh, we have to disconnect it obviously and also discharge it and it's already discharging by itself but um, just to, you know, be safe, you discharge it every time you turn it on and turn it off before you work on it. Now the best way to check what the other horizontal wire is, is through a continuity test. You can do this on your multimeter. Simply set it so when you touch both ends of the leads, you hear the multimeter beep. Now. I'm going to put one probe on where the blue wire used to be and then check around different points. And there we go. This is the other horizontal uh, wire. Now I have desoldered both the horizontal wires um, from the horizontal coil that they were attached to. Now, since we um, did it right and got the vertical line, I know the vertical um, wires are connected and we just have to plug in our signals uh, where the horizontal wires were originally at. Um, and I will show you this shortly. Now these these wires are going to be live when I turn this TV on. You shouldn't have them hanging out like this. I'm only doing this for the purposes of this video, but if you're not going to use these wires at all, you should cut them and then put electrical tape over them and just tuck them away where they cannot touch. Now if the TV has a problem with that, uh, with these not being connected to anything, then that's when you put a very um, high wattage resistor over these um, two wires and you should be okay. Now all I did was connect two audio cables to where the horizontal wires were originally connected to um, and I connected it to an amp that I have here and uh, connected my phone to it and uh, all I have to do now is turn on the TV and you will you will see that line that vertical line and I will press play on this music and you will see waves now those are some really nice waves but it's a shame that it's all vertical now, to get a horizontal uh, line like that, what you would do is turn this yoke, where, where the coils are at, you would turn that 90 degrees. And by turning it 90 degrees, you would uh, put it uh, horizontally across the screen. So, uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you how the horizontal uh, line looks like when pumped uh, with music. So now everything is reversed. I put the horizontal wires where they were at originally and I disconnected the vertical wires and put the audio cables where they were. And um, now what we should see is a horizontal line instead of a vertical line that we had before. Now, what all I have to do is turn this TV on.
and we get a horizontal line. And once I press play, you'll see what's going to happen. See, that line is not sinusoidal, is not wavy, or is not really mm, interesting to look at. Because that dot moves left and right very quickly across the screen. So quickly that it just gets fatter and skinnier um, when you put any signal in there. Now I'm not going to go too deeply into this board, but if you don't have an amplifier like this, then what you could do is simply follow uh, the traces uh, from the speakers and follow them to the amplifier. Once you found the amplifier, then you can simply disconnect the inputs, um, input signals that the amplifier uh, receives and put your own signals in there. And then you would hear not only your music uh, from the original speakers that were installed, but you can connect these speakers over to um, where my audio cables are connected to, and you would have essentially the same effect. Um, but remember that your volume is going to be controlled um, on the buttons, the original buttons. So um, you have to make sure you have access to those buttons, um, or maybe even a remote, uh, whatever happens to be the case um, with your TV. So now I have everything connected like I had before uh, with the vertical line and all we have to do now um, to get that vertical line to uh, become horizontal and have a nice display is rotate that yolk uh, 90 degrees. And basically what we do is loosen up this screw and you can freely rotate this entire yolk. Uh, once you uh, wiggle it back and forth enough, it should come loose, and then you can rotate this entire thing. And I will actually, for the purposes of this video, do not try this, but for the purposes of this video, I will be turning the TV on and then rotating it. Um, in your case, to be as safe as possible, um, you should first rotate it um, into position and then turn it on, then check, and then turn it off, and then reposition as necessary. But I'm going to do this in real time for you. Now we see that familiar vertical line. And now I am taking the yolk in my hand, and I am slowly turning it 90 degrees. Very slowly, so I don't make any mistakes. And now I'm going to check how that turned. Oh, yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. And somewhere, yeah, I feel like that's good enough. So when I moved it 90 degrees, this is how it looks like. Obviously, that plate was on the top here uh, originally, but... Um, now that it's moved, uh, the line moved as well, the line's horizontal, and uh, that's pretty much everything um, that I wanted to show you, because this TV I'm not going to keep, I'm just going to take a part for the, for the parts, and uh, I'm going to throw this away. Um, I have already this one that I made uh, back when I was in high school and I showed it to the class because we were discussing about waves and um, it has, you know, a certain value to me so that's why I kept it. Um, but I don't need another one. I'm just showing you guys how to make your own um, and the principles uh, that it works off of so um, you know what you're doing. There's many cool experiments that you can try with these TVs and one of them being a very common thing you probably already know that these TVs do not like magnets very much. Here I'm going to be putting this magnet uh, close to the electron gun and we're going to be seeing what happens when I do that. those electron beams get redirected 
all over the place. And obviously, um, you can put the magnet on the screen itself, and you can somewhat see the curves of the magnetic field of the magnet. Finally, let's see this thing in action, playing music.